my father. The apple of our eyes, Abdel Fattah Qasim. Hear the name. I wonder if he was in pain, if he was frightened, and what his final thoughts were. And I wish more than anything in the world that I could have been there to hold his hand and tell him that it would all be okay. But I couldn't do that. I never would have ever imagined that the country in which my parents immigrated to for safety and for a successful future for their children would result in this. This didn't have to happen. All a daughter ever wants is her dad. I want to go on more road trips with him. I want to smell his garden sauce cooking. His cologne. Let it be known, these tears are not for you, just to clarify. You hurt my father, but you never took him away from me. What I mean by this is that you physically hurt him, but you gifted my father with becoming a martyr, and he has now returned to Allah, God. You shot at defenseless people that were not aware of what was going on until they knew it was too late. Your actions were a gutless character of a person. I do not forgive you for what you have done, but while you are in prison, you will come to reality that you are now in hell and only the fire awaits you. My 71 year old dad would have broke you in half if you challenged him to a fight. But you are weak. A sheep with a wolf's jacket on for only 10 minutes of your whole life. I'm strong. And you made me even stronger. No amount of money can bring back the father of my sons and my husband. I'm now forced to figure out how to forge ahead on my own. I miss my husband's cooking, his lame dad jokes, you, you smirk. His light snores in the night. A look that can calm me down. He was my imam. My bodyguard. My entertainer. My problem solver. My comforter. My best friend. And the people in my community would like me to say, my erturu. You put bullets into my husband and he fought death. 48 days, 18 surgeries, until his last breath. His status then was uplifted to martyr from hero and for me, from wife to the martyr's widow. <laughs>